Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to tear into some awesome upcoming games? Always ready, let's do this. All right, so today we're locked and loaded, diving deep into the world of FPS games coming up. The good stuff. Yeah, none of that turn-based strategy stuff for us today. We're talking pure adrenaline, first-person shooters. We're talking about the games that'll have you on the edge of your seat, heart pounding, trigger finger itching. And we've got a lot of ground to cover. We do. We're looking at a packed lineup of games slated for late 2024 and 2025. So to make things easier to digest, we're going to tackle these bad boys in roughly chronological order, you know, give you a feel for what's coming up when. Always good to have a roadmap, especially in the world of game releases. Exactly. And a quick disclaimer before we dive in, release dates, especially those marked as TBA, are about as reliable as a chocolate teapot. You know what I mean? Totally. Things change, games get delayed, it's all part of the industry's charm. Absolutely. But think of this as a snapshot in time today, being October 8th, 2024, of what we know and, more importantly, what we're hyped about. The hype is real. It really is. So first up on our hit list is Witchfire, slated for a late 2025 release on PC. This one's got my interest peaked not just because it looks gorgeous, but because it's got this dark, almost gothic fantasy vibe going on. Yeah, it's a good reminder that even classic shooters like Doom had that touch of the demonic, the otherworldly. Right, and Witchfire seems to be leaning into that, but with a modern twist, we're talking roguelite elements, so every playthrough is different. Gotta keep things fresh, right? And roguelites are all about that replayability. For sure. Now, speaking of big names, we can't forget Crisis 4, Details are pretty scarce on this one, still TDA on the release date. Of course, it wouldn't be a crisis game without some mystery surrounding it. True that. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, we all know what to expect, right? Mind-blowing graphics that'll melt your GPU. Yeah, if history is anything to go by, you might want to start saving for that new graphics card now. Crisis is notorious for pushing the boundaries of what's visually possible. I mean, I'm already sweating thinking about it, but in a good way. All right, next up, we're venturing into the unknown with Luna Abyss. This one's coming to both consoles and PC, but that's about all we know. Mystery seems to be the name of the game. It does, doesn't it? They've been pretty tight-lipped about the details. It's like they're deliberately building anticipation by keeping us in the dark. And it's working, isn't it? The intrigue is real. I'm hooked already just from the atmosphere they've teased. All right, buckle up, because 2025 is shaping up to be a wild ride. First off, we've got Doom, The Dark Ages. Now that's a title that sparks some serious curiosity. Right, a Doom prequel set in medieval times. Demons with swords instead of plasma rifles. I don't know about you, but I am so there. It's a gamble, for sure, but imagine if they pull it off, taking a franchise as iconic as Doom and transposing it to a completely different era, that could be legendary. And you know me, I'm always a sucker for a good co-op shooter, and Killing Floor 3 is scratching that itch in early 2025. More zombies, more guns, more mayhem, what's not to love? It's a winning formula, especially if you've got a good team by your side. Exactly. There's nothing quite like mowing down hordes of the undead with your buddies. Hmm. Okay, so this next one, Painted in Blood, caught my eye for a very specific reason. The art style. It looks absolutely brutal, heavy metal album cover come to life. Aesthetics are so important, and this one seems to understand that. Right, and when you pair that with the promise of fast-paced, intense combat, Painted in Blood is definitely one I'll be keeping on my radar. Now, we can't talk about unique worlds without mentioning Borderlands 4, right? Back for another round of loop shooting craziness. Exactly. Coming to consoles and PC in 2025, Borderlands 4 promises more of what we love. Outrageous weaponry, over-the-top humor and that signature cell-shaded art style. I'm curious to see how they're going to up the ante this time around, though. The humor, the gameplay loop, it's got to feel fresh, you know? Oh, absolutely. Speaking of fresh, Mouse is this super-fast, super-fluid shooter coming to PC in 2025. Think parkour meets bullet time. High-octane action, definitely one for those with lightning reflexes. Absolutely. <laughs> and for those who like their shooters with a side of brain food, there's second loop. This one's really intriguing because it blends puzzle solving with the FPS genre. It's a bold move mixing things up like that, but I'm all for it. Right. Who says you can't have your cake and eat it too, blasting enemies and solving puzzles? All right, for our next game, we're going old school. Back to basics. Yeah. Divine Frequency is this PC exclusive that's promising a return to the classic FPS formula. Think tight controls, satisfying gunplay, and a focus on atmosphere. Less is often more, and sometimes you just want a game that nails the fundamentals. 
And for those who enjoy a challenge, there's Soul Slinger. This one's going to be a test, a true test of skill and patience. For sure. I mean, the name itself tells you what you're in for. Souls-like mechanics, brutal difficulty, intense gunfights. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. <laughs> but, hey, the greatest rewards often come from overcoming the puffest challenges, right? <laughs> true that. All right, last but certainly not least, we have Judas blowing onto the scene in March 2025. And this one's a big deal because it's being developed by the creator of Bioshock. Yeah, talk about pedigree. Bioshock left an undeniable mark on the industry, so to see what this creator does next, well, let's just say expectations are high. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Judas is gonna be one to watch. You know, looking at this lineup, it really hits home how diverse and innovative the FPS genre continues to be. I know, right? From dark fantasy to sci-fi, from classic shooters to genre-bending experiences, there's something for everyone. It's an exciting time to be an FPS fan, that's for sure. And who knows what other surprises might be in store for us down the line. I know. That's the best part. I'm already clearing my schedule for 2025. I have a feeling I'm going to be very busy. People say I have this coming. And you know what? They're right.